This is another beginner problem um, called Fizz Buzz. It's quite popular. It's a children's game um, where you you have to give the sound of a fizz or it's a buzz. Given an integer n, return a string of array answer one index where these are the rules. You basically have to uh, return fizz buzz if i, the i position, is divisible by 3 and 5. Or you turn fizz if it's divisible by three, or you turn buzz if it's divisible by five, five. Then you return i if it's none of the above the condition are true. So you basically more of like an ordering. Um, so to give an example, basically the input is at the end where you just go through each of the i position until the end, and the output is the index of the string. The constraint is n is greater than or equal to 1 and it's less than 10,000 it's 10 to the 4 raised to the 4 so yeah so for example you're given this input as n their n is uh, I say your n is 5 so you have to go through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so the output would be uh, if it's 1 then still 1 then 2, 3 3 is modulo by 3 is Fizz. So this is fizz. Four is neither uh, divisible by five or four, so this is still four. And five is buzz, right? It's divisible by five, so this is buzz. Yeah. So this will be your output array. Um, the thing, the thing to note is you need to be familiar with the operator called modulo. Modulo is like the remainder of the number. And to know if a number is divisible by a certain factor is you use the modulo operator and then check if it's equal to zero. So to those of you who are not familiar with modulo, you better check it out. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's usually being taught in, um, in any programming course because it's, very, it's one of the most important basic that, uh, operator that you need to know. So let's go ahead in the code section. So I'll just go with the loop for i starting from one i is less than the length of n, basically less than equal. So basically going through until the n value, so i plus plus. So the thing to note is there are multiple checks that we need to do. This is i modulo 3 is equal to 0 or n. It's basically n, not an or. Yeah. 5 is equal to 0. And you need to have a response, which is an array. So you could create an array here, make the string. With a length of uh, n. And you could basically just, uh, they start with, you can start, zero is the starting index so, so that's how you do this in golang where's n is the capacity well it's a uh, yeah zero is the length length is the number of items in the array so rest is equal to append rest and then you append face bus so you want to do this now you want to do this on the next one also just base then put buzz this So here is you want to put the i, but you need to put a string because i is an int, right? So you need to convert it. So the way you convert a string to uh, an int into string is i, i to a. Yeah, so i to a is your i here. It's a function in Golang. Building function, then return press. 
So let's see if this is gonna work. Okay, miss one more plus. Valid argument type N. Yeah, so no, N is already N, sorry. Don't need a land here. Okay, that's the first summon. Let's submit it. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, this is a Fizzbus problem. Um, so if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And we'll see you again in the next episode of this beginner course of lead coding. Um, and thank you for watching.